Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing on embracing your singleness and this is something I'm so passionate about because I did not embrace my singleness. I'm still single but for the last five years I spent the time kind of like wishing I was with someone and finding validation in others which is not good and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with dating it's just you have to ask yourself why you are dating. So a little bit of my story, I would look for validation from other people and it wasn't healthy, it wasn't good, I didn't want to be alone, I wanted to find the one, but now I know my fulfillment only comes from God. So right now I've never been more content single and I love it and I just wanted to share it with you because it changed my life. Basically last November, I decided to go on a dating fast where I wouldn't date for one month, like no apps, no talking to anyone, no looking at anyone. <laughs> so I noticed in this one month, I grew so much as a person. I gained so much confidence. I grew close to God, I grew closer to my friends. So much good that came from that, that I decided to continue it. So yeah, I just wanted to share three points that really helped me to just embrace my singleness. Also, if you see my sleeves like this, it's because I really badly fake tanned my hands. So please recommend some fake tan in the comments below so that I can not look like a half an orange, half a banana. So point number one is get to the root. And what I mean by that is ask yourself, why are you dating? Is it to fill a void? Is it to find someone to complete you? Or is it just because you want to date and look for someone to be with? Because that is really important. I was actually looking for validation. I was looking for distraction. I was looking for someone to make me feel good about myself. And that is not a reason to date someone. So I did three years of therapy and I'm very open about this. It changed my life and it really brought out these things of like, why are you going in circles of dating people or meeting people? Like you can already give that to yourself and God can give that to you and it's already within you. You don't need to externally find that. Aside from therapy, another thing I do is I ask myself, what do I need right now? Rather than looking for it from different people like I can fulfill those needs. Point number two is to invest in your relationships that you already have and this is so important i believe that you become like the top five people that you're surrounded with i think when you're finding so much joy in your friendships you're not craving it from like dating remove anyone from your life that isn't bringing out the best in you because that's so important and i also think friendships really prepare you for when you are in a relationship so you learn things like boundaries conflict resolution communication and another one i learned recently was love languages Shout out to Mary for getting me flowers today. That was so sweet. Anyway, so basically invest into your friendships, host dinner parties and get people together, make an effort and learn people's love languages. Yeah, just have fun with your friends. Like I'm planning a trip this summer and we're so excited and it's just gonna be so fun. And you know, when you are in a relationship, you're gonna have to consider someone else and ask them, is this okay if I go and whatever that looks like for you. But right now you are free to do whatever you want so enjoy it so point number three is to become the best version of yourself use this time to reach your fullest potential squeeze out all the juices of your singleness and don't have any regrets just embrace it wholeheartedly when you do have a relationship you're going to have to take someone else into account and have someone to consider so use this time to freely do whatever you want. So for me, this looks like traveling the world, living alone, do that if you can. I really recommend it. I've learned so much about myself. So for me, this also looks like growing my relationship with God and having that time in solitude to get to know myself and grow and learn and to get to know my purpose. And also something that's so important is having a vision for your life. I think that's important to do before you get into a relationship and have a vision of what you want that to look like. So yeah, I would just really encourage you, so don't wait to do what you want to do when you're with someone, when you're married, whatever. Go to the Maldives if you want to go to the Maldives, don't wait for your honeymoon. <laughs> so yeah, in this time I've just really got to know more about who I am, what I want my life to look like. And I've just really taken time to gain so much confidence to grow, to, to do all those things. And, and all of this might look completely different to you and that's completely fine. So yeah, I really hope that helped you. I definitely wish I heard these things 
or maybe I just didn't listen. But I definitely wish I listened to these things when I was going through my dating time. Feel free to share anything in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.